Hey everyone. First and foremost, the legal term used for this social group I find offensive and would love to see this changed in our constitution and in all other facets of Canadian society. The word Indian needs to be changed to either Aboriginal, Indigenous and or First Nations. This would recognize this distinct social group in a respectful and equal way. Collectively working alongside reserves and their councils, governments from all levels need to bridge the differences experienced by some Indigenous people as this group faces higher unemployment, poverty and rates of incarceration, as well as lower levels of education, among other issues. We as a nation, as Canadians, need to be aware of this and gain the courage and strength needed in character to not be blinded by historical injustices and modern racism because these factors lead to huge inequity against any social group. Multilateral dialogues will help ease the gaps between Aboriginal Canadians and Canadians of different backgrounds. Reservations also need to be assessed in these dialogues to determine if any structural features of these places in Canada need improvements such as schools, water systems, and roads. Amongst other things that should be discussed are the teachings of different cultures to every child in school throughout Canada. Field trips to local reservations each year of school, along with guidance from an elder or members of the, members of the band, will instruct children about the uniqueness of these cultures of the First Nations. I also would like to see heritage festivals happen at least three times a year throughout Canada in each major city to showcase the many, many cultures of Canada. Through this initiative, we are culturally enriching our nation with an awareness to diversity and multiculturalism. Two fundamental values that must be further emphasized in our charter and constitution. I also believe a form of self-government for Aboriginals will broaden cooperation with other governments and the private sector to improve social conditions as well as strengthen unity within Canada. These need to have a solid framework and goals to reach as part of its transition and must also work alongside all other levels of governments to ensure Canada as a nation stays well integrated. What happened between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people hundreds of years ago, we can never fully change because it is part of the past that is beyond each of our times. However, we can understand and make aware to ourselves what Aboriginals have had to face throughout those times. We also need to refine, revise, and evolve how we treat and see each other because I believe we are all brothers and sisters in this great nation. Lastly, congratulations, congratulations to Sean Atlio, the new National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations. There is a lot of work to do, and I'm sure, a lot I will, I'm sure a lot will be done under your watch. Two words people should take from this video, appreciate and respect. 